And CBS 2's Audrina Vegas is outside the family home where police searched within the past hour. Good evening, Audrina. Good evening, Brad and Erica. Yes, police have been out here, and we've also been out here keeping a watch on the house and looking through lots of police reports today. Some sad information we found after police, we now know, visited this home 10 times over the last five years. And today, just within the last hour, we saw detectives here outside the home. They looked in the backyard, but their focus really seemed to be on the grass and the front and side of the house. At this point, we're not sure what prompted them to get back out here. Crystal Lake police officers kept pretty detailed notes during their visits to AJ Friend's family home prior to his disappearance. The bulk of the notes, all about the condition of this home. Seven months ago, last September, someone told police the family was residing there without power and bad living conditions. When officers arrived, the mother, Joanne Cunningham, wouldn't let them inside. From the outside, they reported the grass being two feet tall. One officer said, I could see the meter did not appear to be running. He later wrote that Cunningham admitted she and the boys were living without power for some time. The latest police visit was this past December. An officer clearly stated this house is cluttered, dirty and in disrepair. Officers said they saw dog feces and urine throughout the house. This was in the middle of winter and officers said the windows were falling apart, the rooms cold. One officer said the kitchen had only subflooring that was jagged and broken. He said the ceiling in the kitchen appeared to have water damage and was peeling and open to the piping. Another officer wrote in the room where the boys slept, the window was open and the smell of feces was overwhelming. And when the officer saw the boys, he said one had a large bruise on his right hip. Cunningham stated it must have been from the dog. For these officers to keep such detailed reports of the conditions inside was really just good police work because only one of the 10 calls made here was actually for a well-being check. We're live in Crystal Lake tonight. Audrina Begas, CBS 2 News. Brad and Erica. Audrina live. Thank you.